So there was a question I saw a while ago, maybe like a month or two ago, and it was, should you still end up buying an iPod Touch? And this is a very interesting question because the answer may not even be no. You know, I think a lot of people would say absolutely not. There's no reason to buy an iPod Touch anymore. And I would probably side with that way more than I would say, you know, that I would side with yes. You know, I think that an iPod Touch is not really worth buying anymore per se, but there's still some reasons why you might want to end up buying an iPod. So to kind of break down, I think when the last iPod Touch came out, which was around 2019, I think Apple knew that these, you know, nobody was really going to buy these iPods. And I think a lot of people were thinking the same thing. Who was going to buy an iPod Touch in 2019, 2020, 2021? And I think the iPod Touch just got discontinued last year. So why did Apple even sell an you know, iPod like that? When you can buy a used iPhone that's better than this thing for cheaper than it. And the main reason I think Apple even decided to sell something like this was one for basically parents who wanted to give a, you know, iPod Touch to a kid or something like that. I think that's the main demographic. Or two, it was the cheapest way for a app developer to actually get some sort of iOS device where they can actually go ahead and test their devices on. So I think if you're somebody who is one of those two types of people, then maybe buying an iPod Touch maybe makes a little tiny bit of sense, but even then, it doesn't really make too much sense because you can just go ahead and buy something like an iPhone 8 that's probably even broken or has a cracked back, and that thing probably you can get for like $150, probably even cheaper than that. So there really isn't even a big reason to go ahead and buy an iPod Touch anymore when you can buy an iPhone, even like an iPhone 10 that has like a bad IMEI number that's not, you know, you can't really activate, but it, you don't really need to activate it if it's just an iPod. You can buy something like that for cheaper than a brand new iPod Touch, maybe even a used iPod Touch. But more recently, I think opinions on this stuff has kind of changed mostly because Apple discontinued not only the iPod Touch in terms of hardware, but in terms of software as well. So this has kind of complicated a few more things about the iPod Touch. Not only is this iPod, you know, very hard to come by nowadays because you can't just like go into Best Buy and buy it, but also it's no longer getting software support. And this can be a massive turnoff for a lot of people. Imagine you wanting to go ahead and actually use the latest and greatest features within iOS 16 or even iOS with 17 in the future, well, you're not going to be able to do that with an iPod Touch. You will be able to do that with an iPhone 8 or an iPhone 10R, but you will not be able to do that with an iPod Touch. So the fact that the hardware was discontinued, but also the software was discontinued as well, makes this iPod probably not worth buying at all. So I think personally, buying an iPod Touch in you know 2023, I don't think it's worth buying at all. I don't think it really makes any sense whatsoever. If it was still getting software support, I think that'd be a different story. But whether you're an app developer or you're a parent who's trying to give it to their kid or whatever, it's pretty much not worth it. You're better off buying like a used iPhone than a brand new or a used iPod Touch. So that kind of covers it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.